I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Well, we got some breaking news. No, it does not directly involve the city of Detroit, but to a lot of you, you are still holding out hope that this individual was going to make his way to Detroit. And that is one Mr. Legerious Need coming from Adam Schefter just 15 minutes ago says trade chiefs are finalizing a deal to send franchise Q, uh, CB Legerious Need to the Titans per source. Chiefs are expected to receive a 2025 third round pick. So that is what we gave up for Carlton Davis the third, in addition to a 2024 seventh round pick flop, which means that they are going to swap. I don't know why he couldn't just use the word swap. That would have been more understandable. While Sneed will sign a new contract, trade is pending physical for Sneed. So the Chiefs are going to receive a 2025, which is next year, a third round pick. This year, they're going to swap seventh round picks. So the question that I have for you is this. How are you feeling about this? Very similar to what y'all was trying to tell me about a Daniil Hunter and about a Josh Allen and about any guy that's going to cost any any amount of money that Brad Holmes is not going to make a move for that individual. I don't know if you know this, but Carlton Davis, the third, before his restructure contract, I don't know if it's like this after that, but he was the highest, the third highest salary on the team as far as per year average. He was the third highest salary. It was Jared Goff, Taylor Decker, and with the exit of Tracy Walker and the arrival of Carlton Davis the third, Carlton became number three. Now, the financial compensation as the Titans work out a new deal obviously is not known yet. But the thing about it is, is we know Legarius was going to be franchise tag for about 19 and a half million, somewhere around there. Probably looking for a deal that's going to pay him at least that per year. Now, would you have wanted the Detroit Lions? Let's look at the let's look, let's say, let's look at the the compensation. Let's say we gave, we did one better. We gave them one of our third round picks this year, which is what I think. Brad would have done seeing as how we have two we had two third round picks this year and we gave them a seventh round pick maybe next year or you know what forget it we get we did it this year would you have wanted the in addition to the salary of at least 19 million would you have wanted Brad Holmes to trade for luxurious need now I have people that seem to be you know I, I don't know when I say stuff you don't question it. You don't want to question Brad Holmes. But when, when moves like this are made, if it's somebody, what I realize is if it's somebody that you guys want, that's when you start to question them. And this is not a knock on anybody in particular. I think it's that's just how we are. We're wired that way. Why did I have a fit? Because I had a particular, not only a particular position that I wanted attacked, but a particular player as well. You guys know this. My number one target was Josh Allen. Then it became Daniil Hunter once he was off the board. Um, I think Josh Allen would be the, was the perfect specimen. He was between Daniil Hunter and Brian Burns. If you merge both of those guys together, you would get a Josh Allen. Now, it is possible that Brad will snag him next year, but I highly doubt it because Brad Holmes has showed me exactly who he is. He's not going to spend a bunch of money. What he's going to do is he's going to trade for somebody he really wants to. Jamison Williams, he wanted to trade for J-Mo no matter what, he did it, right? He's going to get the guys he wants. He traded up for Broderick Martin, a can't-miss pro prospect, I guess. I, I don't know, but he's going to pay and trade for people that he really wants. So the question that I have for you is this. If LeJarrius Sneed is getting, let's round it up, $20 million a year, we signed him for three years, and we gave this year's one of the, the two thirds, the Carlton Davis, the third third, what we gave up for him, and a seventh round pick next year. And we paid Carl, we paid Legarius Sneed twenty million dollars for the next three years. Would you do that? How do you feel about this? Are you feeling some type of way? I personally knew that it was a wrap 
once we trade it for Carlton Davis III. Once that happened, and y'all was like, no, and even with Cam Sutton, this is what y'all sound like to me. It's like, because y'all, y'all criticize me all the time. I can be wrong, or I can't be wrong, but y'all can, right? I, I, this was not going to happen once we trade it for Carlton Davis. And I am certain now, without a shadow of a doubt, that Brad Holmes will not move for anybody of substantial value. He won't. The rumor is we were going to trade for Aaron Donald. The rumor is we were going to trade for Debo Samuel. The rumor is we were going to trade for Jalen Ramsey. But you know what? We didn't. All three of those guys, Aaron stayed where he was, Debo stayed where he was, and Jalen went to Miami. We were supposedly going to trade for Daniil Hunter. But were we really? I, I don't know. But it, I, I'm convinced now. We are four seasons in, and the Leopard don't change his spots. Brad Holmes ain't changing nothing. This is what he's going to do. So you got to take the good and the bad. If you wanted Legereus Need, but you don't want him to not build through the draft, this is what's going to happen. We are have to, we're going to have to be the next Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to have to hit on a draft pick that turns into Chris Jones. We're going to have to hit on a draft pick that turns into Patrick Mahomes. Right? So that is who I am certain beyond a shadow reasonable of a doubt that Brad Holmes is that guy. He will not do a thing next year of anybody of needle moving caliber. He is going to get second tier players. He's going to get bargain bin players. He's not going to bring anybody in here in free agency who is the slightest of a needle mover, the slightest person, the only person that we could say when he was healthy was CJ Gardner Johnson. That's it. David Montgomery. Okay. I'll give him that. David Montgomery was an upgrade over Jamal Williams. Cam Sutton wasn't It's too soon. This is who he is, right? I have accepted that. I realize that I know that. Okay. So let me know in the comments below. We got the breaking news, man. Legereus need look mighty good. In a Titans uniform. Shout out to whoever photoshopped that. I want to give a shout out to viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. Because you make this channel possible. The giveaway is still going on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell too. So when I make the video, I'm going to give everybody a chance to make sure they don't miss it. If you miss the announcement of when the giveaway will happen, it will be on you. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. I wind up getting a video out today after all. And as always, go Lions.